Hey. Hey. Sleepyhead. Hey, wake up. I know you can hear me. Ugh, you're such a dork. Move up. Are you feeling better? I haven't seen you take a nap like that since we were small kids. Maybe you're coming down with something. Hey, what is it? I know something's wrong. I always do. Talk to me. Talk to me. What do I have to do? Tickle you? <sighs> Fine. Don't talk to me about it. But you can't stay here all day. Hey, what did I say? Oh. Oh. I meant you can't stay in bed all day. You can stay at mine as long as you want, dummy. Is that what's the matter? You're so silly. You can come visit me anytime you want. You know that, right? It's not just that. Well, talk to me. You miss me? No, you don't. You can't. <laughs> we used to fight so much. I thought that you would be so glad once I had moved out. TV all to yourself. No more arguing over who gets what snacks. You don't have to put up with me randomly coming into your room and squishing you with hugs. I remember when we were smaller. And you used to love having cuddles with me. Then you became a moody teenager who was too old for hugs, and I kind of hated you for that. <laughs> yeah, I miss it too, I guess. Hey, come here. Nope, don't argue with me. You literally have no escape here anyway. Because I'm your sister, and I know what's wrong. <laughs> I'm a lot stronger than you. Stop struggling. There. See? It feels nice. Well... It would if you stop wiggling. Just let me take care of you, dummy. It's okay. It's... <sighs> I guess I miss you too. Yeah. You might think I'm being crazy and way off base, but maybe you're feeling the same as me. I'm being serious. For once. <laughs> okay, well... You were always my best friend growing up, and when we got to being teenagers, I guess we were both stupid. As in, not wanting to hang out with each other anymore. You wouldn't let me hug you anymore, and I mean I won't lie. It hurt. Because you're my little best friend. It doesn't matter how old you get. I just have this need to protect you and hold you. Especially when you're feeling like this. I think we've both just let the whole getting older thing go to our heads, but maybe... Maybe we just need each other now... more than ever. At least, for me anyway. You don't have to feel like... ashamed or anything for wanting cuddles from your own sister. I know... I can be horrible to you sometimes, but you're horrible to me too. Actually, you can be such a little shit sometimes that I could easily punch you. <laughs> you annoy me so much sometimes, but I wouldn't change it. Mm. If you're ever feeling like this, I want you to come to me, okay? You can come to me about anything. 
It's us against the world, remember that? I would fight any of those kids on the street that were mean to you, and I'd still do it now. Oh yeah, mom was real mad about that one. Didn't they have to get, like, stitches? Yeah, well, a busted lip is the least they deserved for picking on you. I got you. Everything is gonna be okay. Remember when I used to do this? Who knew that stroking your nose from the tip to forehead back and forth would relax you so much? My index finger used to go numb, <laughs> but it was always worth to see you sleep. Yeah, I felt like my big sister duties had been accomplished. Hmm? <gasps> I have an idea. Why don't you stay over tonight? Yeah. Yeah, of course. We could watch a movie or something. Maybe even make a den out of the sofa we like we used to. Are you kidding me? You made good dens because I showed you how to make them. I was the delegator. <laughs> ah, dork. Come on, let's go out for a walk and get some snacks. I'll buy you that candy you used to love. <laughs> okay.